extreme dog makeover, extreme rescue dog makeover, dog, uh, dog something. Come on, brain. Come on. You know, one time years ago, I was with my, my daughter, and I did that same thing. I go, come on, brain, come on. And she looks up at me, and she goes, Daddy, your brain sucks. It does. That's probably true. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Typically Hazardous. I am Steven. I've got a really, really special episode planned today. This is something that's so, so important to me and something that really matters to my life, and so I'm really excited to be able to share it with you. So I'm sitting in the old pickup truck right now, just getting ready to hit the road. We're gonna go down to the local animal shelter. Tony's pet of the week, Placer County Animal Shelter. He's a very loving cat. Yeah. Ah! At the animal shelter, we're going to be looking for a couple of dogs that have maybe some potential to be good hunting dogs. We'll adopt those dogs, we'll get them back up to health, we'll get them some really, really great training, and we'll teach them to be really, really great hunting dogs. And we'll find them great homes at the end, and they'll have these really, really wonderful, happy lives. Human beings have been breeding and domesticating and training dogs for thousands and thousands of years and primarily to serve this function of hunting. Sometimes there's other food production like herding and working dogs, but man, right at first it was, it was hunting dogs and they're still really, really good at it. <coughs> Those dogs have the best lives. They are 100% safe from ever being put into an animal shelter because they're just so useful. The best thing that you can ever do for an animal, whether it's a dog or a horse or anything else, is to train them really, really well. Would you not eat my pants? Ah! That ensures that they always have a home. That, that's what we're gonna work on today. I'm gonna take you down to the pound and we will be looking at a couple of dogs that hopefully we can bring into this training program. so hard to just drive away from that place without rescuing a few. No really great candidates this time, but there'll be some here in the future. So our very first dog that I'm going to take you through the program on flipping one of these rescue dogs into a really, really great hunting dog is actually my personal dog, Jack. And here's Jack, basically in his natural state who we just adopted pretty recently got him back at healthy weight uh, took him to the vet to get all of his shots and get him neutered and everything else uh, he's about ready to go he's settled in really nicely at home he's the best family dog we're gonna make him a great hunting dog too so he's gonna be kind of the first one and i'm excited about him go ahead and hit subscribe you know if you like the video you can like the video yeah we hope you enjoy stick around We'll have lots, lots more in this series coming up soon. 